हेलो गाइज माई सेल्फ चंदन फ्रॉम थिंक टेकी वेलकम बैक टू माई अनदर वीडियो टूडे आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द वायरलेस एच डी एम आई डिस्प्ले एडेप्टर फ्रॉम माइक्रोसॉफ्ट विच अलाउज यू ब्रॉडकास्ट योर कंप्यूटर और मोबाइल डिवाइस डिस्प्ले टू एनी डिवाइस सच एज मॉनिटर टी वी और प्रोजेक्टर एक्सेट्रा विच सपोर्ट्स एच डी एम आई इनपुट दिस इज बेसिकली अ मेरास्ट डिवाइस मेरास्ट इज अ प्रोटोकॉल फॉर ट्रांसमिटिंग इमेजेस एंड वीडियोज ओवर वाई फाई एंड दैट मीन यू कैन यूज इट नॉट ओनली विथ विंडोज टेन ऑल्सो विथ विंडोज एट और एंड्रॉयड फोन एंड एनीथिंग एल्स दैट सपोर्ट्स मेरास्ट अनफॉर्चुनेटली यू कैनॉट यूज दिस विथ मैक और आई ओ एस बिकॉज दे आर रिस्ट्रिक्टेड टू एयर प्ले but almost all other devices you can use with this device as long as your pc or mobile phone supports it what probably i was most impressed is the easy way to set up basically there is no setup at all all you have to do is plug in hdmi end to your tv hdmi port and other usb end to your usb port in your tv for power then you go to your windows 10 or windows 8 device you go to action panel then connect and select the display adapter and it just connect and this is where it will show if your pc doesn't support it you can check right now it will tell your pc doesn't support miracast where it supports it just connects automatically and loads up even if you are connected to wifi it won't interrupt that or disconnect it just works also you can use this device with projector to connect for doing presentation etc you also get some additional options while connecting to windows laptop go to windows store and download microsoft display adapter application and open the app now you can go to adapter setting and set device name to display also you can set your preferred language now in security setting you get option to set pin so no one else can modify your settings and also you can set pin for pairing and the last option you get is for updating firmware which allows you to update device firmware for enhanced device performance it also works on android phone you can go to your mobile setting bluetooth and device connection go to connection preference then go to cast and make sure you check the box which enables wireless display and you select it and it will show your phone display on the tv or display wherever you want to present now how well it exactly works i would say it's better than expected i have done couple of resolution test and it seems to be able to hold at least 30 frames per second consistently picking up some time to 40 to 50 frames per second but if you are looking for something which requires more than 30 frames per second consistently then this may be not a best option because i found it was able to hold more than 30 frames consistently that means you can watch standard videos movies without having any worry of stuttering and it will also broadcast the audio so you don't have to set it up separately above 30 frames per second it does stuttering I was trying to watch 60 frame per second YouTube video and it was definitely stuttering. It was hard to watch. The quality of video is pretty good. I measured it as uploading 12 megabyte per second and you don't notice any artifacts or anything like that. Looks like great quality. It's about the same you expect from 1080p YouTube video. So that is pretty good. I wish it could go higher if your computer can handle it higher bitrate but I guess for wireless it's not bad input latency is there but it's not a problem you will probably won't even notice it if you are trying to do gaming with a mouse it's going to be a issue you are not gonna get a very high resolution above 30 frames per second so that can add a latency and issue as well Overall I will say it is really a cool wireless dongle. It cost approx 5000 rupees when I bought it and probably worth it if you are going to use it for showing presentation and watching movies 
you don't have to run a huge cable or anything like that definitely it's convenient depending upon what you are going to use it for a video or image browsing is awesome or gaming or any reaction time sensitive things definitely not good so hope you find this video interesting so if you like this video show your thumbs up and subscribe to my channel